Hi people, welcome back to the channel. This two marks question is from gate 2015 exam. Just have a look at the statement. I'm going to read it. Consider a network connecting two systems located 8000 kilometers apart. The bandwidth of network is 500 into 10 raised to the power 6 bits per second. Propagation speed of the media is given as 4 into 10 raised to the power 6 meters per second. It needs to design a go back and sliding window protocol for this network. The average packet size is 10 raised to the power 7 bits. The network is used to its full capacity. Assume that the processing delays at nodes are negligible. Then the minimum size in bits of the sequence number field has to be. Okay, so you can see we want to use this network to its full capacity. Using a network to its full capacity means we want efficiency of 100%. Okay, so required efficiency is 100%. Algorithm that is being used is sliding window protocol of the type go back n. In go back n, sender window size is n. You all know that. Receiver window size is always fixed to 1. That is the reason it's called go back n. Because even if one packet is lost in the way, all the subsequent packets that receiver will receive will be discarded. That means entire window is kind of lost. First one is lost, all other are discarded. So we have to retransmit the entire window. Okay, go back n. All the n packets will be retransmitted. Now for 100% efficiency, the condition is sender window size must be of 1 plus 2 way packets. WS must be one plus two way packets okay that means it is actually go back one plus two way okay value of n is one plus two way let us find the value of a for determining this okay so a is t p divided by t t propagation time divided by transmission time and both of these values are not given in the question we need to determine tp as well as tt so let us see what is the value of tp propagation delay is defined as distance divided by the speed okay the distance between the two nodes and speed at which data can travel so the distance is given in the question it is 8000 kilometers okay and speed is given as 4 raised to the power 6 meter per second. Unit here is kilometers and this unit is meters. So we need to convert the units. It is 4 into 10 raised to the power 6 meters per second. So let us convert this kilometer into meters. So 8000 kilometers means 8000 into 10 raised to the power 3 meters. Okay. So this meter and meter will get cancelled per second can be written as second. So this per second is written as second. Okay. You can see propagation time is amount of time and time is measured in seconds. So the units are correct. These are three zeros and three zeros here. So 10 raised to the power six can be cancelled. It is eight divided by four seconds. That is two seconds. So we have calculated the propagation time. Similarly, find out the transmission time. What is transmission time? L by B. Length of the packet divided by the bandwidth. So length of packet is 10 raised to the power 7 bits. It's given in the question. Bandwidth is also given in the question. It is 5 into 10 raised to the power 8 bits per second. So let us solve it. Transmission time is L upon B, which is 10 raised to the power 7 bits. This much as the size of packet divided by 5 into 10 raised to the power 8 bits per second. Okay. Bits and bits can be cancelled. Per second will become second. Okay. So this per second can be removed from here. So this will be 1 upon 50. 1 upon 50 is 1 by 5 into 1 by 10. That is 0 0.02 seconds. Okay. So, TP and TT have been found out. 
वी कैन नाउ सिंपली डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ वन प्लस टू ए वन प्लस टू ए विल बी वन प्लस टू इन टू टू अपॉन पॉइंट जीरो टू टू सेकेंड्स डिवाइडेड बाय पॉइंट जीरो टू सेकेंड्स सो दिस विल बी हंड्रेड एंड दिस वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी टू हंड्रेड प्लस वन विच इज टू हंड्रेड एंड वन That means the algorithm that we need to implement must be go back two hundred and one. Even if one packet is lost, all of these two hundred and one packets will be retransmitted. Okay. If window size at sender is of the size two hundred and one packets, in that case we will have hundred percent efficiency. Okay. That means this must be two hundred and one. Receiver size is one. Okay, window size of receiver. Sequence numbers required are always equal to sender window size plus the receiver window size. So sequence numbers required. These are two hundred one plus one is equal to two hundred and two. So to represent this number two hundred and two, you require minimum of eight bits. That means sequence number field is of eight bits. You can just take log to the base two of this value and its ceiling. See why are we taking ceiling? Because with seven bits you can represent counting maximum till one twenty seven. So, but we actually want to go till two hundred and two. So seven bits are not enough. The value must be more than seven. So next possible value, next possible integer is eight. So we require eight bits. Its log will be seven point something. So ceiling will make it eight. Answer to this question is eight. Now let us discuss how is this condition derived. You don't actually need to know the proof for solving this question. Even if you have memorized that hundred percent efficiency means sender window size must be one plus two bit. Okay, still you can solve this question, but I like to explain it. So answer to this question is eight bits. Okay. If you want hundred percent efficiency. The condition is sender must not wait for any acknowledgement. It will continuously keep on sending the packets. Suppose sender has sent the first packet. That one will be placed in the window. We haven't got any acknowledgement. Still, you will send second packet and place it in window. Third packet, fourth packet will send. Will continuously keep on sending the packets, and they will be kept in the window. What is purpose of window? See, all of these packets have been sent. Sender has done its job. But still, they are temporarily saved. That if in any chance one of these packets gets lost, they can be retransmitted. Okay, so this is for the purpose of safety. That means if any packet is lost or discarded, we still have that packet. Okay, we can retransmit it. Now, acknowledgement signal can take maximum of TT transmission time plus two TP, which is propagation time. Okay, after this much time, you will get a acknowledgement signal. That means first packet will take this much time for being acknowledged. Okay, but you are continuously sending packets. That means for this much time, we are continuously transmitting the packets. We are not waiting for acknowledgement. We are just transmitting them. Sender is continuously transmitting, and in this much time, you can send one plus. Two A packets. Okay, all of these packets are unacknowledged. After this much time, only the first acknowledgement will be received because this much time is taken by acknowledgements. Okay. Now all of these packets have been sent. None of them have been acknowledged. That means we need to save all of these packets in the window at center. So you are continuously sending the packets. Suppose its acknowledgement is received somewhere here. Till this time. You are just sending these packets, okay? And this will be so on till one plus two a. 
okay that means at any time you can have a maximum of 1 plus 2a unacknowledged packets so this much must be the size of window at sender side because these many unacknowledged packets can be present at any time when you will finish sending this packet at that time you will receive the acknowledgement of first packet that means this one is now delivered successfully so this slot will be emptied we can just delete this packet number one from sender's window all of these packets will shift and you'll have this slot as empty slot in a window and you can transmit one more packet okay similarly now without requiring any additional space in window we can continuously keep on sending because window is sufficiently large to support these many packets okay